Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Yellow and my Mono Poison Run. And it's time to, well, get the Master Ball and plus get rid of Team Rocket, because let's face it, I can't take on the next gym until I get them out of here. They're kinda in my way. And yeah, if you're wondering why the chair's not squeaking while I'm moving a bit back and forth here, well, I finally decided to give in, went out to Walmart and bought a new um, chair for about 60 something dollars. Then put it together last night. So yeah, that ate up about an hour of my life. How? No one's even challenged me yet. How did you hear about me wandering around? Or do you have a security camera like hooked up to your eyeball or something somehow? Eh, probably not worth thinking about. That's not going to be particularly effective. Well, let's try and drown this snake. This would probably be a lot harder if Arbok was a water snake of some kind. Be like, oh, you want to drown me? Like, whatever, I live in water. I don't know if we're ever going to get a water snake based Pokemon, though. Maybe they already did it, I just don't know about it. My lack of knowledge of later generations does sometimes get in my way of knowing what kind of Pokemon they've used for, um... How many po real life animals they've based Pokemon off of at this point. Ugh. But we're definitely going to be taking the shortest way through this place. Mainly because I'd like to get done with this area, you know... Today. I mean, if I fight everyone in here, it's going to take a while. I mean, when I was a kid, I would do that just for the extra experience and all the money, you know, but when you get older, you're like, man, I just want to get through this as fast as humanly possible. Well, I think we're going to go open up the nurse's station before we go after our rival. Mainly because, you know, it's not too hard to go over our way to do that. I mean, to get to the nurse's station, we just have to open up this tour and go through the teleport on the other side, so it's all good. I mean, there is one guy we'll have to fight, but I mean, it's just one more rocket grunt. And I'm probably going to want to heal after the battle with my rival anyway, so as far as I'm concerned, this is just good planning. They do, huh? How can you tell that at a glance? I only have one of them that's not inside of its Pokeball. Maybe the rest hate me. Like, can you just read their friendship values? Even when they're in the Pokeball? How'd you do that? Oh, let's rain down some water. Hopefully we don't get hit with a disable, because that would suck. Oh, a headbutt, eh? Ow. Well, whatever doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, I guess. I imagine Skullcracken's gonna come into his or her own when we get to, um, Blaine. Just because, you know, water easily crushes fire types. Well, I'll take care of Grimer, eh? Huh. I figured it would have shrugged that off, to be honest. And a Machop? Well, hopefully it doesn't Machoke, you know? Well, that may or may not take care of this thing. It's hard to say. Yeah, those poor defenses managed to screw my chop over. Question is, do I want to evolve into a Tentacruel as soon as possible or not right now? Um... I'm still a bit up in the air about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, just let me take a quick nap, will ya? Thanks, but... I wasn't planning on giving up. At least not yet. Though, I think I'm going to avoid fighting this scientist for now. Okay, if we're going to fight our rival, we're going to want, you know, the man who would be king up front. And, um, you switch places with, um, Skull Crack in there. Victim? Yeah, I forgot I named him that. Even with that name, he's still not going to be a victim of Toxic right now. I just can't afford to try and set that up, because I'm guessing Tentacruel would probably get knocked over. Well, Tentacruel, but still. We will have a chance to drop, you know, some of his Pokémon, so I'm sure we can evolve here. 
if I want to. Oh, he starts off with Sand Slash? I guess I should have left, you know, Skull Kraken up front. Could have done a Surf for the win here. Well... Go with Thrash, I guess. Swift, huh? Eh, it's not a bad move, I guess. Ooh, trying to go for an enhanced critical hit. But that level gap, just, just too much for it to overcome. Okay, Nine Tails, huh? Well, Skull Kraken, here's your chance to shine. I'm gonna let you take on a Tails of Nine. Yep, Surf. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't send me out of battle. Ugh. Weird. That move's not working correctly. Ugh. It's not working right at all. Yeah, we'll just switch Pokemon. Um, mainly because, well, Champ's got the Thunderbolt. <sighs> so let's just frag this cloister and be done with it. I mean, I suppose I could have sent out Barney, but then I'd be worried about maybe an Ice Beam coming my way. After all, cloister is part Ice type, so you never know. Now nah, we'll leave the Champ out. With such a massive level advantage, we can probably throw a Thrash for the win here. Question is, what's he gonna follow up with? Jolteon, eh? Yeah, I'll leave Harry out. Ah, Pin Missile, eh? Well, great, now it's gonna be a bunch of critical hits. Ugh. This sucks. But let's end this with a nice good old-fashioned thrash and be done with it. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. Just please get out of my way. Eh, I'll let Skull Kraken evolve. I'd rather have the additional speed of being a Tentacruel right now. Huh. Still probably not going to see any play against, um, Sabrina, though. Yeah, yeah, I really don't care if you keep checking your Pokedex and get strong Pokemon, I'll still beat you. Yeah, world's most powerful trainer and I, I'll still win. I know what I'm doing. Kind of. I guess I'll grab Lapras. Don't really need it, but I'll still take it. Just because I can. Okay. Can you just please let me go now? I really don't care about Lapras at all. Okay. Who's up front anyway? Eh, we'll switch. Okay, Skull Kraken. Let's keep moving forward. And Jesse and James are back. Well, I'm gonna disturb him if I want to, because, you know, I'm a meddlesome kid. You know, that's what I do. I meddle. In everything. Just ask the Scooby-Doo gang. Completely ruined their attempts to solve a case one time. Well, let's see if they can ride the wave. The answer is no. Weezing can't ride the wave, because it's dead. Oh, you want to send out a giant cobra? Well, let's see if it can ride the wave. Can you, little snake? Oh, managed to survive the wave. But, I got with this one, it's going to be even bigger. It's going to be Humunga Dunga. Yeah, I still can't let that go, anime. 
At least the U.S. translation. Like, let's name this wave Humonga Dunga. Like, who thought that was a good idea? I mean, I get Humonga, because, you know, Humongous, but Dunga? They do realize Dung is another word for poop, right? Ugh. Man, that was a weird segue. Huh. <laughs> well, at least Skull Kraken's victorious. Okay. Yep, like always, Team Rocket's blasting off again! I don't know about the speed of light bit. Okay, let's open the doors up. And head on inside. Yes, yes we do. I'm constantly meeting you because you're constantly getting in my way, gosh darn it. A world of pain? If I want a world of pain, I'd go watch the world of Gumball, okay? Yeah, I never could really get into that cartoon. Ugh. Hated it. Well, I'm sure Surf will work well enough. Even though it's not a ground type yet. Needs that Moonstone. Well, Skull Krakens reign victorious all over the place right now. A Persian? You're gonna send out a Persian rug to fight me? Man, that's just a bold move right there. Oh, guard special. I mean, I do have Toxic, so I could understand the use for it. It's just... That's probably not gonna be my go-to move in a fight with a Persian. Now, if it was an Alakazam, I could see why I'd want to drop Toxic just to be a dick. Ugh. You're gonna use the Cryhorn against me? This ain't even a fair fight. Well, let's do it. Goodbye, Cryhorn. We hardly knew thee. And that leaves Needle Queen, who's just completely outclassed. After all, it's now a ground type. And ground typing just can screw you over, man. And it being a critical hit definitely didn't help either. <sighs> yeah, you lost again, alright. Just hand over the money. Never fall, huh? Keep telling yourself that, because I'm still gunning for you. I'm going to need that Earth Badge after all. But I'm also going to take the Master Ball while we're here, because, you know, why not? I can't think of anything to use it on at this point, but screw it. I can always just shove it in my item box for later. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time, we'll be taking on the gym. Until then... See ya.